Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to EMS, Empower Melbourne Shuffle. And this is the Enlight Video Leap uh, tutorial mini-series that I'm making. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys is how to... Uh, I showed you how to, uh, you know, select a song. But um, I want to show you guys how you can also... There's a couple of tricks you can do to get some songs in here. Um... And I just want to preface and start out by saying, whenever you post music on social media, you must always, always, always tag the artist, okay? You can't just be posting willy-nilly and not give the artist any credit because, you know, for even for legal purposes or anything down the road, you never know what can happen. There's a lot of loose ends aren't, that aren't really tied up these days on social media and that you can you can kind of get away with a lot, but just... You know, even like with copyright and stuff like that, you know, it doesn't matter if you say, you know, please don't take this video down or, or you know, this video wasn't intended for, um, you know, copyright purposes. Like you either have to get permission uh, from the artist or, you know, they will make a claim against your material if it's on YouTube at least and then they will make money off of your uh, video or they might allow you to make money also on it it just depends but the point i'm trying to make here is always tag the artist no matter what because one people ask anyways on the comments on say instagram and they'll be like yo what's the comp or what's the uh, artist or what's the song and honestly it's it's just annoying to me when people reach out because it's like oh like you don't actually care about my dancing like you just like you just want the song like what like you know so just always tag the dj artist whatever okay whatever it may be always give credit even if you do post it and maybe you're maybe you're not really permitted to be posting that doesn't matter i would always tag the artist because i've i've tagged and posted hundreds of hundreds of artists on instagram whether they gave me permission or not and a lot of them ended up liking or sharing the video so because they know it's publicity for them and you and you know if you're a dancer or you're an artist you're a musician a dj you know that like if someone were to dance to your track, that would make you feel good. That would make you feel amazing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily reach out to them and be like, "Hey, take your video down." You know, I've no, that's never happened before to me, and it never will because that's showing artist support, and it's a two way street. Okay, so always remember that. Now, moving on, I've showed you how to simply add a, a song by going to uh, audio, music, hitting artist, hit the artist again. If you have it like a track from a file, okay. Remember, remember, I downloaded a, a copyright free track from U YouTube uh, audio library, which anyone can do that. They have plenty of uh, audio uh, copyright free music that you can use in there. However, it's you know it's not, of course, what you always want to dance to. But you know, for the purposes of this video and me, you know, monetizing my content to make a living off of what I do, you know, you got to use copyright free content. So that was by going to file here and then you hit browse and then I would go to Dropbox and then I would go to downloaded songs. Let's see here. Okay, so that one's not playing. You know what, let's type, let's type, um, let's type copyright uh, EDM. How about that? Copyright free EDM. Uh, no copyright sounds. Let's try this. Oh, another thing. A lot of techno music is underground, so that won't ever be really copyright. I mean, it will be these days, but a lot of the, a lot of the techno from like deep, deep underground isn't really um, copyright, so you can get away with that. However, still need to tag the artist, so always remember that. Uh, I'm just trying to find, let me find some like copyright techno, because that is what I dance to, copyright techno. Yeah, there's not going to really be a copyright free techno. Let's see, copyright 
free, well, deep house. Let's try this for streamers. Okay, this will work. So right now I'm already, I am already recording here. As you can see, the red flashing light is on. Now, you know, for the sake of this video, what you would do is, okay, I'm going to hit stop. That's actually a good song. I'm going to add that to uh, my, one of my lists here. Uh, just so I can listen to later. Music is the answer. Anyways, um, so we're going to go back to End Light Video Leap. And basically what you would do is you would hit the, uh, you would hit the plus button on the right. That's how you add clips, by the way. Okay, I told you guys that in the beginning. These are all my clips that I'm recording for this series. And let's say, you know, let's say one of these clips was the soundbite or the video that I just, um, what do you call it, that I just uh, re screen recorded. You would add that video. So watch, I'm going to, I'm just going to click, let's, let's just pretend, okay, that, you know, I screen recorded, um, you know, that video. I'm just going to select this, add to project. And you would drag it, and you would put it on top, okay, like that. Um, and it, you know what? What I'll do here is actually uh, I'm gonna hit stop because I am recording right now, and I'm gonna hit record again. I'll show you what I mean here. Let's see here. Stand by. Okay, so I'm back. So I did hit stop recording so I could show you. So I'm going to add this clip that is in here right now. And what you would do is you go to Spotify. Now you're going to see this clip is, you know, this is what you recorded, all right, with screen recording. So I'm just going to chop this. Well, actually, I'm going to go to where I played the music. About right there. And we're going to get rid of all that excess that we don't need. And what you're going to do is you're going to place this clip on top. Then what you're going to do next, you know, get it, let's get it lined up wherever you want, right? Now, you can, uh, what you can do, you can either take the opacity down like this, right? So you can get rid of that top clip. Or I'm going to show you something else you can do. You can go to audio. Um... And you, you see this button on the far right called unlink, hit unlink. Now the picture is separated from the track uh, audio byte, the sound byte. So all you need to do now is just, you know, delete that extra clip. Because when you think about it, the, uh, you want to download with as much or with as less things and busy, busy work and, you know, going on as possible. So what you want to do then is drag this sound by over here now. And also something else, if you ever want to switch between like, there's two sound bites here. So you see how it selects it and then it selects the other one. It has the title, the name right there, a rising wave. And then there's that other one that I recorded. Obviously it has no name because it's re screen recorded it. I'm going to move that other one out of the way. I'm going to move this over just for a second. So, and you know, you'll have two because look, uh, you see this little blue line right here that ends on top of the other one. Then I click it. Now this one shows you how far it stretches, okay? And you can adjust it, of course. Switch back to the other one. So I'm going to move the rising wave out of the way. And I'm going to show you this one now. Now you're going to hit play. And hang on, it'll start in just a second here. You see where the where the where it starts, the sound? So you can move it up right here. And we'll start again. Right, just like that. So that's how you would screen record... Uh, a sound bite or a song from you know in in the app in the phone okay so that's how you would do that so right now i'm going to delete this because we don't need that that is one way to do it um so you can you know uh another way you can do is um so i give you two ways you can go on youtube you can uh, go to YouTube uh, audio fo file, and if there's songs in there that you, th you know, you want to dance to, or you think you can get away with it, like with, like, or not get away with it, but 
you like the way that song sounds because there's not let's be honest there's not going to be like big name artists in there all the time it's people you know making you know music for streamers like myself and you know bloggers vloggers and people that have youtube channels um, however there is a way to basically rip a song off the internet now i don't i don't uh what do you call it, condone, or I do condone, you know, you know, piracy and all that. I'm kind of half and half, to be honest with you. I, I mean, I do think, th- think that things should be, you know, free to everybody, but I mean, you know, also royalties and rights and all that do belong to the artists, you know. It's kind of a uh, weird uphill battle. But anyways, um, the other way is you can, they ha- they are called MP3 downloaders. So right here, I have this app that I turned into a home screen app called uh, YouTube or YTMP3.cc. You can just type in YTMP3 in Google search. It'll bring this up. Now, what you want to do here is say you have a song on YouTube. All right. Let's just type in, uh, what's that song called again by Jeremy? It's called The Rising Wave, Jeremy Blake. Put a rising wave, Jeremy Blake. There it is. Now, we're going to hit three dots right there. Hit share. You always want to click on the video too and make sure it's the song that you want, but I know it is. So hit copy link. Go back, switch to YTMP3. Copy, paste. It's going to initialize. Now, it's going to give you some options. You can hit download MP3, play. Okay, now here you're going to get ads. So just hit close. Sometimes it might take you off screen. Sometimes you might get like, you know, weird, goofy uh, ads in the bottom. Do not click those, of course. Sometimes you might have to uh, reopen it or, re, you know, uh, retry. But I'm going to hit Dropbox because that's what I have. So you're going to hit Dropbox. And then here's where we run into a problem. So it doesn't always work. I'm hitting Dropbox right now, but it's not working. So you can also hit, you know, download as MP3. And, you know, you're going to have other windows that open up here, like I said. It's, like, really annoying. Uh, so I'm going to try it again. Yeah, this way, I honestly don't recommend this way. Look, it's asking you, I mean, you can hit download and then whatever. So see the bottom there, the arrow, it's downloading in the YTMP3, uh, the window. So that's kind of what you want to look for. This is kind of like the old but tried and true way. Uh, like I said, though, if you could just re- screen record it, just do that. It's less hassle. Screen recording takes like no time at all versus this. You have to go to the website, copy the YouTube link. Uh, but once you download it, uh, it will go into your like documents. So just waiting. Okay, good. Now it's it's been downloaded and you can click on that and let's see if it pops up here okay so let's hit close it's gonna open up open up another window Uh, okay so this time let me hit dropbox also so this is what it'll look like when your dropbox pops up so what you're gonna want to do is do i have a folder already called downloaded songs i'm gonna hit downloaded songs there you can see jeremy blake already from earlier i'm gonna hit save now it's gonna it's gonna say uploading Okay, so let it do its thing. Now, this also already downloaded apparent because I hit download MP3, but I also did I also hit Dropbox. So it's going to be saving in my like documents tab and in my Dropbox folder as well. Now, something to note here: it doesn't always save to Dropbox. Sometimes it'll pop up and say error here. We're going to wait here just a second. You see that little gear that's turning. If it says, you know, loaded or complete, then you're good to go. And then it'll it'll pop up. Go back to in light video leap, it'll pop up. Okay. This is and you would do the same thing on a desktop. This is the same way. You would go to YTMP3 on your desktop, and then you could add it to your Dropbox or whatever documents. You could drag it over to your iPhone or Android and the audio files, and then uh, load it through the app. Okay. This is how you edit on your app, like professionally. Okay, good. So it says saved. So Again, we're going to go to uh, Enlight Video Leap. And just for the sake of it, just for the heck of it, we're going to go back here. We're going to go to Audio, Music, go to Hit Artists at the top. 
hit files at the bottom and then hit okay so here's remember i told you i also saved it to documents because i hit download uh let's see if we can find it here it would say there it is jeremy blake so i'm going to hit this right here and then here it is again from documents okay so i'm going to delete that because now you know now i'm going to go back to audio uh, i'm going to go to music artists files again at the bottom i'm going to hit the browse folder okay because right now we're in documents hit browse and it'll take you back to all the locations now you're going to hit a uh, uh, dropbox go to downloaded songs and as you can see here we have do we have jeremy blake okay jeremy blake is in here let's see yeah there's a rising wave uh from the other day and then you know 2 55 p.m which i just downloaded this now jeremy blake right here as you can see okay so there's two so i just i showed you what th four ways that you can get music and in, into your and now it's going to download when you click on it obviously let it, it you know it takes a couple seconds but just wait till it's downloaded uh if you like download it and then come back like maybe an hour later like after you have you know ripped it from the internet or whatever it will it'll already be downloaded in like one click one push so here it is again so there it is again as you can hear okay now i've showed you guys four ways you can well not not to get the i've showed you uh, three ways to get the song that you want and then i've showed you one way to get music off of well i didn't show you but i told you you can just go to youtube and make an account and then look up uh go to youtube like copyright free music it'll usually be on the left side of the tab and then you can uh you know get free copyright music that way uh, and it'll just let you download it and then I showed you screen recording with on Spotify and then just save the video and then add it as a clip right here with the plus button. And then you can obviously, uh, you know, go to ytmp3.com and you can rip the video or the song. Yeah, actually, you can rip videos and music uh, from YouTube. That's yeah. People do that all the time. So. You know, is it is it exactly legal or not? I mean, it is. I it's legal, but you cannot redistrib uh, redistribute this content. Uh, you cannot sell it. I mean, you could use it for a project, but like I said, you always you sh it's always smart to give credit. Okay, there's a lot of different situations out there. So say if an artist ever caught you or said, "Hey, that's my material." Now, let's say you made like hundreds of millions of dollars on it or like thousands of dollars on it. And they found out about it. Yeah, you're probably going to get taken to court because if it's just a small, no big deal type of thing, the, the least they'll say is like, hey, take my content down or like, hey, if you don't do anything, I'm going to take action against you in court. So just know, just be be warned. You know, I've been doing this myself for, you know, just about six years. Like I mentioned that you're, you know, you are responsible for, you know, how you go about you know, downloading people's music and overlaying it. And, you know, the nice thing about Instagram now is they have, I'll show you. Uh, let's go to Instagram. Instagram has uh, reels, Instagram reels. And there's preloaded video in there that you can add to your reels. For example, right here uh, in this track right here at the top, I'm not going to play the music. Hey guys, so like I was saying, you can go on Instagram and you can, they have pre-selected, um, or they have uploaded music, they have tracks, so you can go to Reels and then, you know, you can film the, the video on your phone or you can dance to the video and you don't even have to use Enlight Video Leap, you can just go into... Uh, Instagram reels and then you can do a little bit of editing and put the track over it in there however I have found it is a little bit harder to do uh, in in Instagram reels so if I were you I would just stick with it in light video leap um, and then you know you can you can upload it to uh, 
Instagram Reels, and it should, as long as it's under a minute 30, you shouldn't get a copyright claim. It should, um, what do you call it? Uh, it should recognize it. If it's over a minute 30, you may have problems. I'm, you know, that's still kind of gray area, kind of new. But, um, you know, just just know that you can film your clip, go into Instagram Reels, search the clip, put it over it, and you would edit it in there. So you have a couple options there. Um, same thing with TikTok. Uh, TikTok is nice, though, because it goes up to three minutes. However, usually th- people aren't going to stick around for three minutes because that's the... Uh, that's just the world we live in today. People don't have the attention span unless it's like something they're really trying to learn or something, you know. But otherwise, um, I think that's pretty much about it. Um, the final edit will be after this video or maybe a couple more. And um, yeah, that'll be it. So I appreciate you guys watching, sticking around. I know these were really long, but they're really in depth. You know, a lot of this stuff I learned through trial and error. So I hope it did help you. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.